What's up guys, it's Fatern, and we've got a gameplay of, I believe it's uh, Hardpoint on here, yep, Hardpoint on Raid, you guys have probably seen enough of this from me, but I am back, I'm alive, and uh, I'm kicking butt, I'm super excited for Ghost, I'm super excited for the next gen consoles, and I'm a little bit more re-energized than I was the last time I did a video, I probably sounded sad, or I was playing GTA 5, and actually that's what I've been doing for a while, is I've been playing a lot of GTA 5, GTA Online, and uh, it was it was it was good. It's fun. I'm still playing it now. Haven't played too much Call of Duty, but uh, Black Ops 2 time is pretty much coming to an end. Uh, it's gonna make me sad because I have thoroughly enjoyed Black Ops 2. Uh, to be completely honest, yes, there's a uh, the people are the ones that usually make the game bad because they're the ones that use the exploits and you know play with crappy classes or like LMG target finders things like that. But we're not focusing on that. We're focusing on the good times and what's coming next. So like I said, Black Ops 2 is coming to an end. You guys obviously know it. Today is October the, I think 16th, maybe the 7th, I think it's 16th, 17th, 18th. Yeah, it's, today's the 16th. It's a, a Wednesday. Uh, that's when this video is going up. I have a couple other gameplays uh, ready to go and I'm going to upload too. But I am back. I uh, just want to take a break and like I said, enjoy like mindless video gaming. So I, I got GTA 5. I haven't beat it yet. I played a little more single player last night. But I've been playing a lot of the online. I also played some uh, Battlefield 4 online as well. The beta, which uh, was pretty enjoyable, but I'm still not sure if I'm going to buy it yet or not. But uh, Call of Duty Ghost, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm waiting, and I'm excited for it. So I can't wait until that finally comes out. It's going to be it's gonna be sick. Uh, maybe not as cool as everyone thinks it is or whatnot, but it's just a new Call of Duty. It's going to be exciting, and uh, I'm just in a good mood. So I just want to let you guys know that... Uh, I appreciate the support of everyone who's like, oh, where'd you go, or, you know, why aren't you putting videos up, or, you know, we just like you for you, uh, because that's what I'm going to be doing, is I'm just going to be doing the same old stuff that I normally do. Maybe some new things thrown in here or there, but uh, I honestly don't have the time to do Let's Plays of, like, GTA or any other game, uh, because I, simply, it's just, it's too hard for me not living uh, with my girlfriend. When I live with her, maybe it'll be a little different, but at the same time, I, uh, it's just hard to go ahead and do a video or uh, you know several videos of one certain game when you work like 40 some odd hours a week and then you have a girlfriend you gotta hang out with and spend time with not that that's a bad thing but just saying in terms of uh, taking away from making videos or playing video games there's a lot of time that I don't have that people who do this full time have all the time in the world so by the time I'm done with you know like 10 episodes of like a let's play some people already have like 30 uploaded they upload like 3 or 4 a day and I honestly just don't have the time or the energy to do that. Uh, I don't get paid enough. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't do it enough, and I just don't have time. So I'm going to stick with what I'm good at, which is uh, playing some Call of Duty, playing some other games, having some fun commentaries along the way, and then uh, trying my best to engage you guys. So that's what my plan is uh, for the time being, is to just get back into the uh, motions of going in and making some videos, recording some stuff, doing some live comms. I do have a few more tools under my belt, like I said. I have uh, my uh, HD webcam now. I guess uh, moving into my girlfriend's house will also be sort of like uh, a tool under my belt because I'll be able to play all day when she's at work and then even some nights when she comes home I'll be able to play uh, and record and do things. I can edit videos in the living room. I can uh, leave them on upload and do something else or go to sleep instead of like worrying about uh, where my laptop is since I'll have a dedicated station. So hopefully I can get a little more uploaded or maybe just spend more time on the videos that I do uh, at any given time. Spend a little more time on them, increase the quality a little bit and get a little bit more viewer interaction. I will hopefully be upgrading my internet speed as well. It'll be about the same what I have at this apartment. but. Uh, the difference is I won't have anyone else on the actual uh, connection. It'll pretty much be me and whatever my girlfriend uses. Otherwise, uh, it's not my two roommates who, not necessarily are power hogs or you know internet hogs, but they use a decent amount of bandwidth, I'm sure. So it'll pretty much just be me swagging out, doing whatever I gotta do. But I will be doing some fun new stuff, and I am excited to get back. It was a nice like two and a half, three week break. I didn't play too much Call of Duty, to be honest with you. I probably spent uh, a good week and a half playing Grand Theft Auto slash Grand Theft Auto Online. And then uh, I think it was just two days ago, two or three days ago, I got this video. This is the, uh, I think it was like a League Play video. I can't remember if I was uh, by myself. I think I may have been by myself with this team, uh, but no one else was there. I can't uh, remember, to be honest with you. But did pretty well. I thought it was interesting, and I thought you guys would enjoy it. Nice uh, competitive game. 
and it would, uh, you know, help me ease back into the process of doing some commentaries, making some videos, and especially with just so many new games coming out, you know, I want to get excited for doing this again, and to be honest, I have actually sort of uh, rekindled the fire of uh, my love for video games. I, I, as you guys know, I'm not a really big single player guy, but I have been uh, playing more single players recently. I have not finished The Last of Us, and I have not finished GTA 5, but I at least played them, which is actually a really big uh, achievement in itself, considering I don't even remember the last game I really tried to play through the single player. I think it was like Borderlands 2, and then maybe even Borderlands 1, but before that, you know, I didn't touch the Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, or Black Ops 2 single player. Never touched the Battlefield 3 single player, Crisis 3, Crisis 2. Whatever games I've owned, I just don't do single player. But the story mode in GTA 5 and in The Last of Us, they were worth it, so I have played them. But I've just uh, just gotten back into not doing anything. I literally, I think it was like last Monday, not this previous Monday, but the Monday beforehand. I'm pretty sure I played Grand Theft Auto for about 10 hours and uh, Battlefield for like 3. So all together in like a span of one day, I played like 13 hours of video games. And I loved it. There was no pressure on making videos, not that there's uh, a ton of pressure anymore, I feel like if I just uh, stick to what I'm good at and stick to myself, I'll be okay and I won't feel the pressure that I was talking about in some of my previous videos, but I really just played all day and just got lost in the video games, got lost in you know what makes them so much fun, and I really did enjoy it, so I hope to uh, continue that streak of really just enjoying video games for what they are, a release, uh, some fun, and then you know every once in a while have a little bit of a, a competitive streak to it. In terms of like, you know, maybe Ghost will actually have some competitive stuff like a league or something. I think that's what I will be transitioning over to. Most of my friends aren't even getting Call of Duty. I know one guy that I work with uh, isn't, as of right now, JBT Bone, who has appeared in many videos over the years. He uh, is undecided at this point whether he's going to have enough time or whether he really wants to even play Call of Duty. Uh, the only person that I know that's pretty much on board is uh, Vaz Razdini, and he's... Um, he's kind of skeptical as well because we've been playing a lot of games like uh, GTA 5, Minecraft, Battlefield. Uh, so he's not 100% sure. And then even a law student. He's actually officially a law student at this point. He is in law school down in Florida. So, uh, you know, a lot of people that I usually play video games with are now out. So that's pretty nuts. So that means I'm going to also rely on you guys to play with me more, whether it's in pubs or, uh, you know, competitive stuff. Pubs just, it seems to have lost its way for me. You know, I'll obviously do it when Ghost comes out to get, like, you know, the feel for it and show off new streaks and maybe some strategies and whatnot and some tips. But uh, in terms of, you know, the actual gameplay itself, it's kind of hard for me to play because it doesn't feel like everyone's on an objective. If I played with, you know, four or five other people and we're all trying to win domination and triple cap and stuff, I think that's a good time, but. Uh, I can feel way better and I feel way more rewarded when I play competitive and we win the game and like I get points for like some really crappy ranking or anything like that. It's really just uh, much more satisfying to me and uh, I started playing I think League like halfway through this season the other day and my first five matches I finished in first all but one even though we lost three rounds or three maps. And I got placed in Platinum, and then three games later, uh, I was in Masters. So right now I'm in Masters, and I have like a six-win streak. But the competitive stuff is just so much more uh, fun for me, and I think you guys have always enjoyed uh, me when I'm having fun. I know that the people that I watch on YouTube are people that are usually having the most fun or people that I can learn from. So uh, to be honest with you, the people that I watch the most right now are probably at TB and our frags, some of the Optic guys because uh, obviously they're competitive. I actually watch a lot more Twitch streams than uh, anything else, and then I think I watch Fear Crads quite a bit, and to be honest, not a whole heck of a lot more, simply because those guys are the ones that are either having fun or they're being competitive and, you know, doing some really cool things in the competitive scene, but most of, the, most of all, you know what, man, you just gotta watch people have fun and uh, enjoy the game that you're playing, because if it gets too much like a business or too unfun then you're not gonna enjoy it I'm not gonna enjoy it we're not gonna enjoy our our lovely bro time together so uh, I'm back I'm making more videos don't be afraid to uh, send me a message or whatnot I will be playing ghosts it's uh, already pre-ordered and paid for in the 360 the uh, season pass is pre-ordered for the ps3 I just got to finish pre-ordering the ps3 version play it get the ps4 upgrade it and uh, we're good to go so the final score here is like 43 and uh uh, like 25, I think I got like 7,000 points against the team, and no one on my team had mics, so that was pretty sick. 
Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm back, and leave a comment, a like, or anything, and I will definitely uh, talk to you guys soon. Enjoy your Wednesday. Peace.